Introducing the brand new Rock R3 Pro V2. Improved accuracy and the all new Rock photogrammetry. In this video, I'm gonna tell you all about what makes the V2 so special and stay tuned to the end because if you already own a V1, we'll tell you how you can upgrade to the V2. Let's get into it. Here I got the R3 Pro V2 and everything is new about this thing. Actually, the hardware inside, it's all the same, but the Rock engineers have updated the IMU, the GNSS, as well as the onboard computer and the LiDAR. Everything has been changed on the algorithms and the firmware, getting the data, so that way you're able to get a far superior and more accurate point cloud from that exact same hardware as the V1. I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into flying it and showing you what that data looks like and where in the data sets that you're gonna be able to see these massive improvements. So we're gonna get that up in the air, fly it, show that data, and then on top of that, we also release rock photogrammetry. So now your R3 Pro can do photogrammetry in a brand new way. It's very special, very different from all of the photogrammetry techniques. This way you can get accurate corners of buildings as well as the location of objects in your data sets very accurately, very fast. So why don't we hop in the air, start looking at the data sets from this and start looking at that photogrammetry of the brand new Rock R3 Pro V2. Let's fly. So we just got the R3 Pro V2 installed on the DJI M350 drone. Now, let me tell you a bit about the flight plan I'm gonna to use to show you the accuracy of the new V2 over the V1. So we're gonna fly at 150 feet AGL, that's about 45 meters, and fly at five meters per second, which is about 11.2 miles per hour, and do 50% side overlap. Let's go ahead and get it up in the air so I can hurry up and show you how good this V2 data is compared to the V1. All right, guys, now I got that data set, that data set pulled up over here, and I'm gonna go over six things about the Rock R3 Pro V2 that makes it really awesome. And so I'm gonna talk about the accuracy, and then I'm gonna talk about the photogrammetry. So I got the data set pulled up over here, and we have one thing to cover before we even get into the R3 Pro accuracy and the photogrammetry. You're seeing a bunch of blue dots in this data set, and what is that? That's the new Rock Inspect. This tool is kind of be pervasive across the entire platform for our SLAM and taking photo spheres from the SLAM to do inspection and even mobile mounts and mobile mapping with Colorize Mobile. There's a lot more to come with this, but basically we're, you can click on this now and you'll see the photo and we're gonna build up a bunch of functionality and tools uh, to handle the photos that are co-aligned with your LiDAR data to do uh, visual inspection. So that's gonna be really cool. A lot more to come there. It's already built in, but you're gonna see a lot of new features coming out in the future on that. But now let me take a look at this data set. So I said six things. So the first thing we're gonna look at is the colorization. And because of the more accurate Rock R3 Pro V2, the colorization is even better because the underlying data is even better. So we can see things like this building wall meeting the ground is very precise. Everything looks very clean. And that's really what you wanna see. You're not gonna see a bunch of seam lines or doubling. It actually just, it, everything looks very well aligned and very well colorized. And this translates into our, our SLAM, colorized SLAM products, as well as the uh, mobile mapping and colorized mobile mapping. And so all of these products are gonna get a boost because of the V2 version of the Rock R3 Pro. And honestly, I love it. I think we're gonna be able to do a lot more cool functionality with the post-processing of the data because of this you know, enhanced accuracy and how the alignment is working out. But overall, it just, just looks pretty, guys. Don't you think? Yes. 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 Well, I can look at that all day, to be honest, but let's go on to the next thing, and that's gonna be the enhanced accuracy in corners. Let me zoom out and switch us over to GPS time and we're going to start looking at corners of the data set. So we can see in this data set I left all the corners in so I can actually take the GPS time slider and move it down. You can see how it was flown and we can see all those corners are still in the data set. 
And why don't I go ahead and zoom in. So right here, we got this uh, greenish and the yellowish, uh, yellow orange and blue green. And this corner is where two corners from this corner and this corner are gonna overlap. And so with the V1 of the R3 Pro in Rock Desktop, we asked for our customers to cut those corners out. Um, and But we've done a lot of work on the IMU and the actual uh, algorithms that run on the IMU in order to get this result. So that's, let me show you, because it's it's pretty cool. So we can see the green and the yellow on the corner, and they are precisely aligned. So this is the high dynamics portions of your data sets. So with the V2, we don't have to worry about these high dyna dynamics as much. Of course, there is a limit, you know, if you, put it on a rocket ship and crash into a wall. Yeah, it'll probably break down then. But for your normal flying patterns, you're gonna see a very, very tight and accurate point cloud, even when you're in those high dynamic mo moments. So that is really impressive. And it's gonna kind of translate to all over your data set in places that you didn't even know it. It's just gonna, it makes everything a little bit more accurate. And that's because of the work we did on the IMU, as well as the GNSS and the onboard computer inside of your R3 Pro system. A lot of firmware upgrades went into this, a lot of tweaks in the actual algorithms, how these IMUs work, how the Genius Hex works, and how the computer takes all those data sets and brings them together. So that's number two. So we got that colorization, looks beautiful. We got the high dynamics of these corners is looking very precise, very accurate. And then the next, I'm gonna bring this over into intensity gradient. Maybe we gotta play with that a little bit. There we go. Cause I wanna show you the overall accuracy and alignment of just the data, the data quality in general. So let's, let's zoom in on, I don't know, what we see. So we can see this is kind of the overall accuracy. This is 150 feet in the air. So we're looking at this, I'm gonna zoom through it slowly so you can get it a feeling for what it is. So we measured this, it was about 1.5 centimeters uh, on average, kind of around the data set. And it's from 150 feet in the air, flying at that 11.2 miles per hour, about five meter, it was five meters per second and 50% overlap. And so that's what we're seeing. So that's the overall kind of accuracy. And let me find a place that's gonna have the overlap. So I wanna find an overlap so we can see repeatability. So we have the overall accuracy, and now let's look at the, the repeatability. So if I hold this still here, we can see all this these paint stripings here. I can go back into the RGB to show you the paint stripings. And then come back to intensity gradient. And now we can take that GPS time slider and slide it, we can see here's one pass, we flew past. Now the drone's going, gonna turn around, and gonna come back. And what we see is just, it just kind of fills in data. We don't see any doubling, no, no misalignment. So it just fills it in. And that's because of the enhanced accuracy of the actual LiDAR unit. So we can see, uh, we can see that repeatability from pass to pass. And so that's really big. And then the accuracy of the actual individual scan. Let's look at just a few other examples throughout the data set, because I would like to really highlight what this what this really means. So why don't we come over here somewhere and find a uh, find a curb to look at. So what does a curb look like from 150 feet in the air? Curb looks like this now. So we can clearly see the top of the curb, the wall of the curb, and the back of the curb, and that gutter. Let's zoom in and find some more curb. I want more curb, guys. <laughs> pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Just come down here. Find where there's no cars. Here we go. No cars over here. So that's a curb, again, from 150 feet. So that's because of the enhanced accuracy. So this is from the actual Hasai LiDAR, it's on the R3 Pro, we increased the accuracy of that as well. So we also went through the Hasai and did a lot of extra calibrations, extra uh, factors on that to, to make it more accurate, some timing things, some calibrations 
the IMU, we did the uh, changes of the filters, the algorithms, the GNSS, we changed that around. Basically, we changed everything and made it all, uh, rewrote basically the firmware from the ground up on this in order to get this V2 released. So we're really squeezing uh, all the power out of that hardware that you, you purchased the R3 Pro or you're looking at purchasing. So very accurate, 150 feet in the air, folks. Very impressive, right? I'm impressed it's from 150 feet, God. Okay, so let's summarize that. What do we have? We have high dynamics, so we've got the corners. It's all looking really good, very accurate. We have the uh, repeatability, so from one swath to the next, so one flight line to the next flight line, that's very accurate. We have the overall accuracy of the data from a single pass. Um, and that's on the Hisai, and that's on the IMU and the GNSS, all of that work that we did. And we have this colorization that's very accurate uh, because of all of that. So that's the R3 Pro V2 launch. All of that comes with it. And we also have photogrammetry. So this is the ortho mosaic that was made of that flight area. And this was in Rock Desktop. So Rock Desktop produced this ortho mosaic and the colorized point cloud. And I'm gonna say a couple key features about this, but I'm gonna do a deep dive. I'm gonna compare this ortho mosaic versus another ortho mosaic that I did 80 or 90% front uh, front overlap, 70%, 80% side overlap. I'll look into that one with drone deploy. And I'm gonna point out some key differentiations between rock photogrammetry and drone deploy or Pix4D because the difference is really big. But suffice it to say, you're gonna get an ortho mosaic now and it has a couple of really cool features. One is that everything is from the nadir perspective, meaning you're not gonna see the facades of the buildings. So if you're trying to find building footprints, you know that this corner is the corner of the building. And actually we can even come in here and I'm gonna come into the LiDAR data and show you something pretty cool. So why don't I come in here and I'm going to just draw Maybe I'm not doing this very accurate, but. Let me draw on this building, put that at the corner. Okay, so I just drew that L right there on that building. I'm gonna go ahead and click save and come over to the ortho mosaic. And look at that. Look at that. That L is lined up right on top of that building and it perfectly overlays. So that is another feature of the ortho mosaics with the rock cloud and rock photogrammetry. So everything's from the nadir and you're able to take drawings from your lighter data and directly bring that right on your ortho mosaic guys. It's pretty huge. So R3 Pro V2, enhanced accuracy, rock photogrammetry, whole new features in the rock cloud that allows you to unlock your data and we're just getting started. So let me talk to you about everyone that already owns an R3 Pro V1 and what you can do to get the V2 because it's actually all able to be upgraded. And so we're gonna offer you a path for upgrade and you're gonna be able to, it's gonna cost a little money because it takes about you know a day or more to do this, but we will offer some incentives to make it effectively free but reach out to us and we will get your unit upgraded. All new units going out effective today will be V2. So everyone should be getting these new features, enhanced accuracy, photogrammetry. It's all gonna come with your Rock R3 Pro. And we have even more to come with the Rock Colorized Slam, Rock Mobile Mount, and Rock Inspect. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you like, subscribe. Hope you liked the video. Hope you learned something new. And I hope you appreciate these changes we're making because we're always making it better. We're working every day tirelessly to make 3D data, the most accurate, <laughs> accurate stuff in the world for you, as well as getting you those quality deliverables. So hope you guys like the video. See you on the next one here on Indiana Drones. Ready to dive into the future of mapping? Let's kick it off together with the live webinar launch of the R3 Pro V2 LiDAR. Circle April 11th at 1 p.m. PST on your calendar and join us on LinkedIn, YouTube, and Facebook for a live discussion of what's new with Rock. 
But that's just the start. We've got a whole series of live webinars planned on rockrobotic.com where we'll deep dive into our products and services showing you exactly how they're going to radically change your mapping projects. Don't miss it.